dinosaur. This blue planet. Nothing lives on land. But underwater, it's a different story. Evolution has been pulsing along here slowly and steadily for millions of years. The seas are full of simple, soft-bodied creatures, blindly drifting at the whim of the currents. In the coastal shallows, however, evolution has rapidly picked up the pace. Five hundred and thirty me e e e million years ago, when the man said that there are not even any creatures on the land yet, I expected to see some pretty basic creatures in like in basic form. But what we see. In the video is like these creatures are already pretty evolved and they're pretty complex already you can even find these kind of creatures today are these creatures really the ancestors of modern day all the living things that we see today hmm. this is anomalocarus the so-called odd shrimp the first super predator <laughs> This four-foot bruiser owes his success to a monumental evolutionary move. Eyesight. These eyes, composed of many lenses, may look bizarre, but they're far from unique. Many predators are beginning to develop eyes. Many predators are beginning to develop eyes. That's what he said. Now, so far, they haven't shown any single creature with that beginning to develop eyes. All the creatures that they have shown so far, they have properly fully developed eyes. Those compound eyes, we know that insects have those compound eyes. We see that even today. And keep watching this video, it gets better and better. This is Haiku Ichthys. He's named after Haiku in China where his fossils were first found. He's only the size of your thumbnail, but this creature is an evolutionary giant. He's the first species of fish. He's critical to our evolutionary line, because instead of having armor on the outside, he's tough inside. He has a primitive backbone, a nodal cord, which makes him the very first vertebrate. He's the forebear of all backboned animals, from dinosaurs to elephants to us. A fish is our ancestor. A fish. You know, I just had tuna this afternoon. Did I just eat someone's grandpa? He 
He may not look like you and I, but this curious little fish is a blueprint for our own bodies. Therefore, we can come to the conclusion that that's a fish. That is a fish. That's a fish as well. Well, that's a fish. That's a spider. And that's a fish too. This is Cephalaspis. She's a peaceful grazer. She has thick scales and a tough protective head. In fact, her name means shield head. Our ancestors' enemies, the arthropods, have also been evolving, and they're back. Four hundred thirty million years ago, Discovery Channel wants you and me to believe that these scorpions or whatever they are that look exactly like modern day scorpions or the ancestors for most of the insects that we see today okay i believe the fight for survival has filled the seas with variety but only the adaptable have prevailed okay this is what happened and god made the beast of the earth after his kind and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Now ten times in the first chapter of Genesis we read after his kind. Now there seems to be an emphasis or, 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 or so there seems to be an important it seems to be an important thing here uh, after his kind. There seems to be a big em emphasis on this phrase. Um, you know, give a fish be aliens of years it's not gonna change into a human being um, variation within the same kind within the same species does happen it's an observed it's a fact and it has practical applications but that's just some kind of an adaptation kind of a thing it has got nothing to do with one kind of an animal changing into another they call it microevolution but that's real but macroevolution one kind of animal changing into another it does not happen do you know why they haven't found any primitive ancestors? Because there is none. And when I say that, something really evil in me tries to come out and it's like, Oh no, please, please don't tell me there's a, there a, there a creator, no, please, please tell me that evolution is true, please, please, please tell me that, that, that there is a, they have found these primitive ancestors. Please tell me that I'm free to do whatever I want. Please tell me that that there is no God. Please tell me that. Uh, please. Are you sure they haven't found any missing links? No. There is no missing link. This created sets he set some rules and we have broken those rules and and we have that is we have sinned and we are dying now but god loved the world so much that he gave his only son jesus so that whoever believes in him shall have eternal life um now when you come to jesus you will be saved it's not like you may be possible or it's not like probable but you will be saved when you come to Jesus that's a that's a nice thing he doesn't he doesn't turn his back on you Jesus is coming back and he's going to identify the quantum state of the visible and invisible matter that make up the being of his believers and he's going to relocate these entities uh, into a new dimension which is eternal and everlasting 